The 1960s were a crucial time in American history. Social movements, technological progress, and changing cultural norms defined the era. Road trips became a favorite pastime, allowing people to discover America's vast landscapes. Let's explore how historical events, social norms, laws, and trends influenced road trips during the 1960s. The post-World War II economic boom fueled a surge in consumer spending, leading to increased car ownership and disposable income among American families. This newfound wealth and mobility allowed more people to enjoy leisure activities, such as road trips. The middle class expanded during the 1960s. As more families gained financial stability and upward mobility, they sought opportunities to explore America's vast landscapes and create lasting memories together. Road trips became symbols of freedom and adventure, allowing families to escape daily routines and embark on exciting journeys across the country. In addition, the creation of the interstate highway system revolutionized long-distance travel in America. Established through the Federal Aid Highway Act of 1956, it linked major cities and regions, simplifying travel and improving efficiency. This highway network bolstered road trip culture in the 1960s, opening up fresh avenues for exploration and adventure. Movies like Easy Rider and books like On the Road romanticized road trips, making them cool and aspirational. At the same time, road trips became a way for young people to express their independence and challenge societal norms during the countercultural movement. During the 1960s, more families began going on vacations as suburbs grew. With suburbs expanding, families wanted to explore America's wide open spaces. They found road trips convenient and budget friendly, loading up their cars for shared journeys. Car culture in popular media greatly impacted how road trips were viewed in the 1960s. Car ads emphasized the open road, encouraging people to buy cars for their own trips. Roadside diners, motels, and attractions were important to the road trip experience. Diners served local food, while motels offered affordable places to stay with extras like pools and playgrounds. Attractions, such as oddities or natural wonders, were stops along the way for travelers to explore. Wealthier travelers often used luxury cars like Cadillacs and stayed at hotels like the Biltmore in Los Angeles. They frequently visited destinations like the Hamptons, Aspen, or private resorts. They dined in places like the Pump Room in Chicago and participated in activities like golfing. Less affluent families traveled in economical cars like the Ford Falcon. They stayed in budget motels or camped. Many drove to the Grand Canyon, Yellowstone, or state parks where they could enjoy nature at low cost. The 1960s saw significant changes in driving laws and safety regulations as the number of cars on the road increased. With the rise in automobile ownership came concerns about safety, prompting the introduction of new laws and regulations aimed at reducing accidents and fatalities. The widespread adoption of seat belts emerged as a crucial safety measure. In 1961, Wisconsin became the pioneer by requiring all new cars to have seat belts in their front seats. However, there was no rule stating that people had to wear them. In 1968, the United States government took a big step by making it a national requirement for all new cars to come equipped with both lap and shoulder belts in the front seats. Figures like Ralph Nader had a big effect on car safety in the 1960s. Nader fought for consumer rights and safer cars. His efforts helped pass laws like the National Traffic and Motor Vehicle Safety Act of 1966. This law set rules for car safety and created the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to make sure cars followed these rules. The Civil Rights Movement of the 1960s brought attention to the discrimination faced by African American travelers. Jim Crow laws and racial segregation were prevalent in many parts of the country, making travel difficult and dangerous for African Americans. In response, the Green Book was published to provide safe travel options and accommodations for African Americans highlighting the need for equal access and protection under the law. National parks became favorite stops for road trippers who wanted to enjoy nature's beauty. 
Parks like Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, and Yosemite amazed visitors with stunning views, varied wildlife, and chances for outdoor fun. Whether admiring tall waterfalls, trekking in untouched forests, or seeing geothermal wonders, travelers were drawn to these natural gems more than ever. Route 66, also called the Main Street of America, became famous as a symbol of American road trip culture. This highway stretched over 2,400 miles from Chicago to Los Angeles, offering travelers a nostalgic journey through America's heartland. Along the way, quirky diners, old-fashioned motels, and unique souvenir shops attracted travelers, making the road trip more charming and memorable. Amusement parks thrived as popular stops for travelers. Disneyland in Anaheim, California became a top choice for families seeking magical adventures and immersive stories. With its iconic rides, themed areas, and beloved characters, Disneyland enchanted millions of visitors yearly, making it a must-visit destination for road trips. In addition to Disneyland, new amusement parks and attractions began to spring up across the country, including Missouri's Silver Dollar City in 1960. Discovering the open roads of 1960s America was a journey filled with adventure, freedom, and a sense of exploration. Join us again for more glimpses into the past as we uncover the stories that shaped our world. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Before you go, make sure to check out these two fascinating videos. Thanks for watching the History Stop, and we'll see you next time.